Hello and welcome to Let's Start Cooking. I'm Wayne and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy artisan bread with only four ingredients. And it takes a little bit of time waiting wise, but not actual work time. So all we need for this recipe is two and a half cups of flour, all purpose. We have one tablespoon of salt because we're not making a sweet bread. We want a nice hearty bread. And we're going to use a half a teaspoon of yeast and we're only going to use one and a quarter cups of water. And all this is at room temperature. So all we want to do to start with is we're just going to take our water and we're going to put it right in our bowl. And again, like I said, this is all room temperature stuff. And we're just going to add a little bit of the flour. We don't need to add it all right now. And we don't have to sift this. We're just going to add it in just a little bit. And we're going to take our yeast. And I know a lot of breads, they start out with what they call yeast starter. But we don't need to do that because we're going to give this plenty of time to rest. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to mix this up until we get everything to break up. And we don't have to worry about it getting completely broken because we're just going to add more stuff to it. But all we want to do is just get the yeast hydrated a little bit just to give it a start. And again, we're not making a yeast starter, so we don't have to worry about adding sugar. And once we get this mixed up, what we want to do then is now we're going to add our salt and our flour in. And the reason we didn't add the salt right away is we don't want the salt and the yeast together right away because the salt will hinder the yeast. So we don't want to put them together. So what we're going to do now is that we have this. Now we're going to add the rest of our flour. And again, we're just dumping right every, everything right in. And we're just going to mix this up just a little bit to get it wet. And this dough, when we're done with it, it's not going to be a typical bread dough to start with. This is going to be a really wet dough. And once we get to about this point, we're going to add our salt. And now we're just going to mix this up. And we want to mix this up till we get the flour disappears and gets all incorporated into the, into the liquid. And that's all we're doing. We're just going to mix everything up. Once you get it to this point, you can see it's a really sticky dough. We don't want it real dry. It's just a real sticky dough. And all we're going to do now that we have it to this point is we're just going to take it, we're going to cover it with plastic wrap, and we're just going to let this sit, not in the refrigerator, just out in the air, and we're going to let this sit for six hours. And that's why I said this recipe requires a little bit of patience, but not a lot of work. So we'll wrap this up, and we'll let it sit for six hours, and I'll see you then. It's been about six hours. We've had this sitting at room temperature. Now what we're going to do, we're going to leave it covered and we're just going to stick it in the refrigerator and we're going to put it in for about 10 hours or overnight, whichever is longer. And that's all we have to do with this. We're going to let it sit. We're going to let the yeast work a little bit slower and you'll see it, it rose a little bit and it's going to rise even more. And we're going to let it sit for about 10 hours. Welcome back. It's been about 12 hours and we've had this sit resting. We did six hours out of the refrigerator, and then we did about 10 to 11 hours inside the refrigerator. So all we need to do now is we're gonna uncover this. And as you can see, it still has a little bit of air pockets in it. By putting it in the refrigerator, it's actually slowed down the yeast, and that's what we want. We don't want this to just blow up in the bowl. So to recap, all we did was we took our four ingredients, we mixed them together in a bowl, then we left this sit outside the refrigerator, then we put it in the refrigerator, and now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of flour, and we're gonna just make sure we put some flour on the table. Like I said, this is one of the easiest recipes for bread that you can do. So we're just gonna take it, and if you, you can use a spatula if you want, or if you want, you can actually wet your fingers, and it'll come right out. And we just want to take this out. We're going to lay it right on the table. And what we want to do is we want to put some flour on the top. And we don't want to play with this any more than we have to because being that this is a weaker dough, and I say weaker because we didn't use eggs, we didn't use anything like that, we want to make sure that we don't play with this too much. So all we want to really do because you can see how soft it is. We just want to roll it over and we're going to press it. And we're just going to roll it again. And then we're going to roll it again. Put a little bit more flour. And then we're just going to take it. And now we have it like this. We're going to roll it this way. Press it down. 
And again, we don't want to play with this any more than we have to. So now we have it like that, we're just going to take it like this. We're going to get a ball. And lay it on the table. And again, we're going to make it a little bit better as we get it. But now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a bowl. And we're going to take a nice, clean cloth here. And we're just going to lay it right in the bowl. And we're going to put some flour down in the, on our towel. We're going to take our a nice bowl of dough here, and we're just gonna lay it right in. Put some flour on it. We're gonna loosely just fold this over. And we're gonna let that sit now for two hours. And we're just gonna let this rest. We're gonna let this come back up to room temperature a little bit. So we're gonna let this rest now for two hours. We're gonna clean up our mess that we made, and I'll see you in two hours. We have about 20 minutes left, and this has been setting for two hours. But what we want to do now is we want to preheat our oven to 468 degrees. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take our Dutch oven and we're going to put this empty into the oven and we're going to heat this Dutch oven up to 460 degrees because we want this nice and hot when we put our bread in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in, we're going to let it heat up to 460 degrees, and then we'll get everything ready. Now that our oven has come up to temperature, 468 degrees, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Dutch oven and we're gonna put it in there for the last 15 minutes and we're gonna let this heat up to that temperature. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use any oven safe pot, just make sure it has a lid on it. And that's all we're gonna do. We have it empty, there's nothing in it. We're just gonna stick it in the oven and we're gonna let it come up to temperature. Our Dutch oven has heated up to 468 degrees. We're all ready to go, we have our dough ready. And what we're going to do, now you have to be very careful because obviously this is 400 and some degrees here. So we just want to take the lid off. We're going to take our dough. We're just going to turn it over. And it's going to be wet, so it might even stick to your towel, but just take your time. We're going to get it up. We're going to lay it right in the pot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to gently, and you don't have to go real deep, we just want to cut... Just a slit. And it might not look it, but as long as you're going through it. But you're gonna cut this real quick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back in the oven. And we turned our oven down to 446 degrees. And we're just gonna get this back in the oven and we're gonna bake this now for 30 minutes with the lid on. So we'll get this back in the oven. And we're gonna bake this for 30 minutes. We've had it in the oven now for 30 minutes. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take it out and we're just gonna look and we're gonna see what it looks like right now. And you can see it's not quite done. So what we wanna do now is we wanna take the lid off. We're gonna leave the lid off and we're gonna put it back in the oven now for 20 minutes with the lid off of it. So we'll get it back in the oven. All right, we've had this in the oven for about, all together about an hour, and we let it cool down to where I actually put my hands in the pot. And you can see how nice and brown it got. I'm just gonna put this to the side. And you got this, you can hear it's nice and, and it's light. It's a little warm yet, so we're gonna see if we can cut it. This and that nice crunch. Now, if you want your if you want your crust to stay soft, as soon as it comes out of the oven, and while it's still hot, you want to brush it with butter, and that'll keep the crust nice and soft, like they do regular bread. If you like the nice crunchy crust, then what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to let it cool down. And as you can see, it's a nice fluff. We've got nice air pockets, and that's from the yeast. It's nice and soft, as you can see inside. And you got a nice hard crust. And what's nice about these is you can leave it like this, and you can actually hollow the top out, and you can actually use this as a bowl if you wanted to do it that way. 
Now, what I would suggest is I would let it cool down. But like I said, if you want a nice soft crust, like a regular loaf of bread, you put butter on it. But that's what you're gonna end up with. It's nice and soft, it's got a nice hard crunch, and it's very easy. As you see, it was four ingredients. It's not a lot of work, it's just a lot of patience sitting around waiting for this. But if you have time to just put it in the refrigerator, you have time to just put it in the oven, it's a great way to make bread with four ingredients. So I hope you like this video. I hope you'll like and share with your friends and I hope you subscribe and I will see you next Sunday.